Okay, good morning. Uh, today I'm going to cover varroa mite treatments using formic acid and our own uh, blue shop towels and Ziploc bag method. Now you're going to be using <clears throat> the 65% formic acid solution, your handy dandy Ziploc sandwich bags, and blue shop towels. Now what I do is I simply get a uh, Ziploc bag, I use a uh, jar ring, get my little sharpie, mark where you're going to cut a hole on one side of the Ziploc bag. This one's already been done, but it, just for clarity, take a blue shop towel, fold it into four quarters, slide it inside the Ziploc bag, seal it, and then you go to, you always use a separate container when using chemicals. And so, in this case, I've, I've got a jar. I have my 35 milliliter syringe. You put it into the solution draw out 35 mils, squeeze it into the Ziploc bag until it's all in there like this one is, saturated. So now you've got two pads and we'll go over to the hive. Okay, so we're just going to, oh, look at you girls. Busy little bees. So what I do is I have an inner cover that has an opening at the top for the summer and a side on the inner cover that's blocked. You want to uh, seal them in, seal the formic acid in. Come on, girls. There you go. Thank you. <clears throat> You're going to put one bag there. And you're going to put the other bag there. Put the inner cover back on and the lid and leave it for one week. Seven days. The size of this hole that I have calculated will vent out the formic acid in one week so here's my summertime top entrance and at this time of year when I'm doing my formic treatments the inner cover is sealed if you don't have this kind of inner cover just use some uh, packing tape. Make sure that hole is plugged. There we go. Put your lid back on. And you're done for seven days. Now, after seven days, you want to do this treatment three consecutive times. So in seven days, you simply get your 35 millimeter syringe, refill each of the two pads, put the lid back on, you're good for another seven days, and the last time you, you uh, do it again. That should carry you into the winter with a good strong hive, healthy bees, and like I said, leave enough honey for the bees, they worked hard for it. So anything above the brood box, you can take as harvestable honey. Anything else left in the brood box, don't be greedy, leave it for the girls. Thank you very much for watching, have a great day.